This is so exciting. <laughs> Very exciting yeah. and a real unique opportunity to take uh, some early uh, career scientists uh, to Antarctica. But we can't do that straight away. So we're not just going to drop people in the middle of Scandinavia. We are going to expect them to be able to build a skill set that gets themselves there um, with the right kit, with the right plans and with the right people. Each year we can build up yeah, the mm -hmm. Uh, the location, the remoteness of the training and the, and the fieldwork opportunities and the science. What we're looking for are people that don't yet have field experience, but as part of maybe a master's or a PhD, do have upcoming fieldwork. What we want to do is to empower early polar scientists to get involved with the science, contribute to the discussion around climate change. Year one, we'll uh, do some training here in the UK. Mm -hmm. uh, year two, we'll then go to Scandinavia and introduce a cold weather element. Then we'd look to go to the Arctic and to actually do a remote uh, piece of field work uh, and an expedition. Um, before then going down to Antarctica and selecting a team to go down and to do some real science in Antarctica. So it's a multi-year project. Mm -hmm. Give people a concrete line on their CV that shows that they are capable of conducting fieldwork in remote environments. The North Pole was definitely my best expedition ever. Yeah, so that was 51 days skiing across Arctic sea ice. So it's, totally, it's the hardest thing I've ever done. Whereas the South Pole, uh, to be brutally honest, is, is like um, running a marathon every single day you know, for well, it took me 40, 46 days on my own solo. But it's, but it's skiing across an ice cap. So you have crevasses and you have the weather and storms and wind to worry about. The North Pole was definitely the harder of the two and the more memorable um, expedition. It's the best thing I've ever done, but the hardest thing I've ever done as well. We see Antarctica yeah. as being so pristine, but yeah. we yeah. are getting microplastics in that environment. Yeah. Climate change in Antarctica is massively complex. Seeing and visiting some of the, the nesting sites year after year in an area where historically there would be exposed rock. And you're seeing the gentoos trying to uh, lay their eggs on the shoreline. Yeah, and it's heartbreaking. You know, you know that at the next high tide, you know, it's all going to get washed away. And the question that's at the front of the mind of every early career scientist, where's the funding coming from for this? Well, this is where Clean Planet Foundation comes in. We will provide the resources no one needs to, to undertake the, the field work and the, the, the science.